Welcome, Cancer and Cross Watchers. This is your general love reading. Cancer, I feel like you have somebody who's really trying to come towards you to try to heal some kind of betrayal. But I feel like there's a third party still trying to uh, do things behind the scenes to cause havoc, but they're not going to win. So stick around. Let's see where this goes. Cancer, let's get into your energy, then we'll get into your energy, uh, the energy of all 12 signs, then we'll get into your spread, and then I'll get you some clarity with some oracle cards. So with that, Holy Spirit, angels, spirits, and guides, clarity and guidance for Cancer. What is the energy around Cancer, please? Cancer, I feel like maybe you're not speaking to somebody that's your wish fulfillment. So it's either your wish not to speak to somebody or you're not speaking to somebody who is your wish fulfillment. So take it how it resonates for you. So Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance. Give me the energy of all 12 signs around cancer, starting with Aries, please. If you're dealing with an Aries, someone may be uh, moving forward with their work or moving forward, taking a leap of faith with a third party. If you're dealing with a Taurus, I feel like there's a, the, you're being divinely guided to a commitment. If you're dealing with a, a Gemini, I feel like there's options, illusion, or confusion with this uh, King of Pentacles. So you're very confused, I feel like, about a King of Pentacles. If you're dealing with a Cancer, Cancer is watching somebody. I, it's like watching in horror. So, you know, I feel like watching and it's causing somebody a lot of anxiety, whatever they saw, okay, is causing them a lot of problems or a lot of issues. If you're dealing with a Leo, someone's ha reconciling and having a new beginning. If you're dealing with a Virgo, the Knight of Wands and the emperor so the knight of wands would be the emperor in a lower vibration and then you have the emperor so i feel like the uh what that's telling me is the virgos leveling up from a playboy or a f boy to an emperor so he's taking control standing in his power leading leading the pack so to speak okay if you're dealing with a libra i feel like Somebody's fighting for justice. So there's somebody rushing in with to speak a truth, but I feel like fighting for justice. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, someone's making a head over heart decision to cut something out in a family situation. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, someone is very up in their head looking at the past mistakes. If you're dealing with the Capricorn, Something somebody's trying to heal some some kind of secret or something that's hidden, they want to heal it. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, somebody wants to transform something by offering their love. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, I feel like someone's resting and recovering or trying to rest and recover from a queen of wands. So I feel like maybe there could have been a third party situation and they're trying to rest and recover from that. Under the bottom of the deck, we do have the five of swords. So trying to win at all cost. Your energy cancer is you may not be speaking to somebody who's your wish fulfillment. Or it's your wish fulfillment not to speak to somebody. So take it how it resonates with you. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, give me some clarity and guidance for cancer. Why is cancer not speaking uh, to their wish fulfillment, please? Okay, so somebody may have acted like a player and you made a decision to cut somebody out. Um, I feel like there's going to be emotional communication from the emperor here. And um, it is being divinely guided. But this person may be waiting or yearning for that. I feel like there's a victory over a betrayal. Somebody's going to win because of this betrayal or... 
um, someone thinks they won because of a betrayal and it's their wish fulfillment. Five of Wands. I feel like this person's trying to. Okay. So I feel like the victory victory over some kind of betrayal. Their wish fulfillment was to cause some kind of drama, but somebody wants to heal a family situation. So I feel like there's a third party or it could have been either one of you or there could have been a third party that tried to win with betrayal. And their wish fulfillment was to cause the drama. Okay, but maybe they got caught in the in the midst of this. So t the king of, of wands for me as a reader is the emperor in, in a lower vibration. So you do have the knight of wands, the king of wands, and the emperor all on the board. So this is a divine soulmate, okay? Um, but there's the three of pentacles. Someone's feeling very stuck. I don't feel like they're feeling being stuck at work. I feel like they're very stuck up in their head about a third party situation. Because those that's all here. Okay, so somebody is working, working to move forward uh, because of clarity. Somebody's gotten clarity and now they're working on moving on because of the, the clarity that they've gotten under the bottom of the deck. Seven of Wands. So somebody may have blocked or tried to overcome an obstacle or stand, stood their ground with somebody. So let's get some clarity and find out what's going on here. You could be dealing with a um, Aries, Leo, or Sag. That's pretty much who's on the board right now. There's not really anybody else on the board. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Okay, so I feel like somebody was rushing to, into a family situation or someone rushed into a family situation, and now somebody's making a head over heart decision to cut something out that has to do with commitment. You have an emperor here, the emperor standing in his power, but I could be a toxic. Whatever this is could be toxic, uh, toxic communication. So um, almost like a fight, obsessed communication or it's toxic communication, whatever this is. It's it's not, it's a fight or an argument. Emotional communication about moving forward to a new beginning of love and abundance. Passionate. Someone could be obsessed. Okay. The devil and the page of wands. Somebody could be obsessed with passionately communicating. So this is about someone wants to really communicate, but they're immature about something. But I feel like they're obsessed with this, trying to communicate that they want a new beginning. But they're coming in as there's two pages here for this new beginning. So it's going to be immature energy here. Being divinely guided towards the empress. Okay. This is a twin. This is a twin. You have an emperor and an empress on the board, pretty much, the, except for the knight and the king, which would still represent to me the same thing. So somebody's waiting. They're feeling very trapped up in their head. They're kind of guarded and defensive of, about, about, I feel like it's their ego. Again, these wanted to fall out, so I'm going to take them. Okay, so I don't feel like this is a victory. Somebody's wanting to win head, be be seen head and shoulders above the rest. They want to win, okay? But someone's very guarded or trying to block somebody from doing that. And they see something very clearly that they want to communicate. Um, so you may, this person may have seen this other person, a third party trying to win. Now, it could be the emperor's energy, but I feel like there was a third party here. And I feel like that that person was trying to win by this person betraying you. So like they're, they're trying, they're thinking they're going to take your person from you. That's how they wanted to win this, okay? So I feel like for the betrayal, they want to heal. This is something, look, somebody is being seen like they want a victory. 
but someone's trying, very guarded, trying to, and defensive about this victory, looking back at this person like, no, you were not winning. See, it's almost like they're building a fence to block this person because they got clarity about their bullshit. That's basically what it is. And they're trying to communicate with you that they want to heal whatever they betray, how they betrayed you. So wish fulfillment, who's wish fulfillment? To speak the truth about this wish fulfillment. Rushing towards you to speak a truth about this wish fulfillment. But I feel like, I feel like some kind of drama. There's still a drama unfolding here because somebody is trying to block somebody. See this? If people are standing their ground against one person from offering their love. It's causing a tower. So with this five of wands, somebody is trying to keep you, your person, Cancer, could be you, could be your person. They're trying to keep you or them from offering that cup, okay? And it's going to cause a tower. It's going to cause a tower moment because this person may speak his truth about who their wish fulfillment really is, okay? So if when somebody wanted the victory about betraying you, I feel like somebody said, you know, this other person is my wish fulfillment. So this is what the problem is. I mean, they're not going to say it like that, but this is like a communication of us. I don't want this third party. I want my, I want my empress back kind of thing. Okay. So keep that in mind. And so I feel like there's two cards of healing here. Someone definitely wants to come towards you and heal and have equal give and take. Okay. And it is a 10 of cups, but I still feel like someone's going to try to win at all costs. There's still somebody trying to win against you, win against you, fight for you. New passionate beginning. Looking back at the past mistakes that were made, wanting to cause some kind of a burden. You have a family situation and you have somebody wanting to cause drama, wanting to play mind games because you are the wish fulfillment with this pre empress. There's a new passionate beginning here for you. And, but somebody's looking back at past mistakes, wanting to cause a burden. So a king of wands, I feel like there's a third party that this person's very stuck up in their head about because this third party's trying to get the victory. Queen of Swords energy is trying to get a victory, working on a situation, trying to cause drama. See, trying to get plot. <laughs> you can't make this up. So I'm feeling this energy big time. Now, look what just came out. The reason this King of Wands he is here with this third party that they can't get out of their head is because somebody here wants a victory. Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is wanting a victory. Someone's being very strategic, not showing emotion, trying to figure something out. What is she trying to figure out? She's working on getting somebody blocked, trying to block somebody from having what they want. They're, they're looking back, trying to cause drama. So somebody's working on moving forward because they know they got the clarity that they need with that hermit card, which is Virgo's energy. Queen of Wands, there's an ending so something new can begin. Out in the cold, the third party, okay? Uh, strife, jealousy, and competition. This person's waiting for their wish fulfillment. I mean, it's just that simple under the bottom of the deck. Four of Wands from the past to move forward, having strength, okay? To have that Queen of Pentacles relationship. Could be with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Just saying. What I have here, and I'll get you some clarity, is this person's trying to work on moving on because they see something, for, you know, they've gone within. The light's been shed on something. What the light's been shed on is that there's a queen of wands here. Um, there's an ending. And so something new can begin. This person is now out in the cold. The third party is out in the cold. Strife, jealousy, and competition. Because of strife, jealousy, and competition. And so this person is now waiting for their wish fulfillment. It also could read that this Queen of Wands, there's an ending of a cycle out in the cold, working on causing a drama, okay, waiting for their wish fulfillment. So this person who was left behind could be still trying to cause more drama, okay? But I feel like there's going to be a relationship with somebody from the past 
that's going to move forward with strength the queen of wands relationship so the queen of wands is the empress in a, in the minor arcana so let me get the clarity on this person is going to move forward with you cancer and this this person who's belly aching in the past they're going to stay in the past let me get some more clarity so holy spirit angel spirits and guides clarity and guidance for cancer now not everybody wants an ex back but I feel like when someone's tried to interfere in your relationship and they're trying to block your happiness, there's a reason for it, especially when it's a twin and this is a twin. Okay. So I feel like the dark night of the soul, you've already gone through the dark night of the soul cancer for the most part. And, uh, they're saying compromise, compromise here. And the answer is yes, you have to compromise in this situation. Okay, and it is divine timing that's coming through. Under the bottom of the deck, I feel like in the springtime, you may have refocused your energy to heal yourself. And that's important because you have to be whole in order to, to deal with somebody else. And the same with them. They, they, need to, they need to find that inner peace within themselves, no matter what, regardless. You know, but things can be rebuilt. They definitely can passion, friendship, justice, in inner knowing with that psychic abilities. Uh, Cancer, you know you have some abilities here. You're going to get some justice. You may start out with friends, but I feel like it'll, qu it'll quickly turn to passion here. Um, the strength for forgiveness, the beauty of closure, the beauty of closure, letting things go, having good luck you know, having good luck with something. So I feel like this is what's going to happen for you, Cancer. I feel like you're being divinely guided in the right in the right direction. You do have somebody who's constantly trying to interfere in your relationship. Um, there needs to be a cutoff of that completely so that things can move forward. So with that, I think I'm going to take this to uh, Vimeo for the extended. So if this resonates, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you over in Vimeo for the extended.